Hello everyone, this is Mr. Jacob Tan here. There are many inspirations that one can draw just by understanding the interactions that can be found within the ecosystem here. Here at the rainforest at La Selva Biological Station at Costa Rica, I have met one of the most amazing and fascinating population of organisms that I've ever seen. As the sun rises up the sky, the leaf cutter ants emerge from their underground chambers. Each of the underground nests could possibly contain up to 8 million ants. It is going to be another busy day for them. But however, the heavy rain that came last night has created a problem for them. Their delivery trails created by pheromones have been washed away. Now they have to re-establish the super highways again. More often than not, most tropical plants found in the rainforest contain toxin in order to avoid herbivores. The ants cut the leaves with their sharp toothed mandibles, but they don't eat them. They feed it to another organism. Foragers travel all over long distance carrying these leaves back to their nests. Leaf cutter ants cultivate a fungus that breaks down the toxin in the leaves and swells protein and sugar. This relationship between two organisms in which both organisms benefit from each other is an example of mutualism. The ants can't do without the fungus as they get their food from them. The fungus can't do without the ants either. This is a symbiotic relationship in nature. Isn't that amazing? Now, can you name me some of the organisms that depend on each other for survival that can be found in our school ecohabitats?